These are fake numbers. Nikki Haley does not have this much support. She's going to come out and claim that she's rising in the polls. All these fake news media people up here on this platform are going to claim that Nikki Haley is rising in the polls. It's a total, complete lie. Absolute lie. Tonight, Nikki Haley was defeated. The problem is she's going to be dumb enough and she's going to be a fake candidate and she's going to keep going and we are going to destroy her in South Carolina. It's going to be a, com a complete humiliation. I can't wait to see it happen. This is the United States Congresswoman bellowing into a microphone about how dumb a primary candidate is for staying in a race after not getting absolutely destroyed in New Hampshire. Oh, and of course, those numbers were fake because even when MAGA wins, they claim fraud. But notice how the host and the other guests in this appearance were mentally searching for a way to escape. Are going to claim that Nikki Haley is rising in the polls. It's a total, complete lie. Absolute lie. Tonight, Nikki Haley was defeated. The problem is she's going to be dumb enough. Maybe it was this line that set Marge off. With Donald Trump, Republicans have lost almost every competitive election. We lost the Senate. We lost the House. We lost the White House. We lost in 2018. We lost in 2020. And we lost in 2022. The worst kept secret in politics is how badly the Democrats want to run against Donald Trump. Yes. Yes. Trump's a loser. He's a loser. They know Trump is the only Republican in the country who Joe Biden can defeat. You can't fix you can't fix the mess if you don't win an election. You want to win. A Trump nomination is a Biden win and a Kamala Harris presidency. Haley has this new energy about how much of a loser Trump is, even after losing in New Hampshire. And from the way Green called his own win fake in the former president's response to it, they might be panicking for some reason. I felt I should do this because I find in life you can't let people get away with bull****, okay? You can't. You just can't do that. And when I watched her in the fancy dress that probably wasn't so fancy come up, I said, what's she doing? We won. And she did the same thing last week, but he was much more angry about it than I was. I said, get up there and you let him know. Trump's go-to tactic of attacking someone's appearance, their name, ethnicity, really anything, might begin to wear on some of these voters, though. And openly bragging about how you sicked your new surrogate Vivek on her, a guy that Republicans on Fox News even said was unbearable to be around, that could turn off voters as she keeps sticking around. Chris Sununu is probably the only prominent guy that's still on Haley's side, and he's been trashing Trump more than she has, so you know what's coming. You have the, you have the very, the now very unpopular governor of this state. This guy, he's got to be on something. I've never seen anybody with energy. He's like a uh, hopscotch. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm watching this guy, and two weeks ago he said, we're going to win, we're going to win in the last side, we're going to win. About three days ago he started saying, well, we want to do well. That's a big difference. If you're winning, despite the tough and confident talk from Sununu, it might be best to avoid letting anyone that hasn't heard what he's been saying know and to start paying attention to him. This is the guy that was blaming Nikki Haley for January 6th and couldn't, if he's off the teleprompter, this is not Donald Trump of 2016, guys. So, if he's off the teleprompter, he can barely keep a, co a cogent thought. I mean, that's just fact. But you've seen him in person as many, probably more times. I've worked with I him have. very closely. He's not the same guy. This is not Donald Trump. He on, didn't on have his a prompter fastball. last night. Yeah, look. This guy is nearly 80 years old. Thank you He's for your 77. service. He's 77. Yeah, that's nearly 80. We'll do math later. It does seem like Governor Sununu is a bit of an ass, but his message appears to be spreading on Fox News, despite how much Trump's former press secretary tries to deflect on this thoroughly discussed topic of cognitive decline. There's a lot of concerns, actually, that I've seen now recently with Donald Trump on the stuff, You cannot right? compare the two. Absolutely, we can. You know, last night he said he won New Hampshire in the general election. He lost it to Hillary Clinton. Lost it to Joe Biden by seven points. You right? cannot he compare the up, two. Haley, he mixed Polling up Nikki Haley. He mixed up Nikki, no. Nikki Haley and Nancy Pelosi for minutes on end in a speech and came back to it. So there are a lot of verbal miscues. There's a lot of gaffes between these two men. Two thirds of the American people problem. think that President Biden is too old. They do not say that about Donald Trump. So you can say this. People, you can make this argument. People, you can though, excuse the DNC talking as, points. It's they not don't as high work. as Joe Biden. But a majority of people feel the same way. Can, about can I just?